welcome to my cuisine. Hello everyone. Mama Lisa and the Mod Father are gonna make a dish for you. It's an Italiano dish. I think that you're gonna like. What Mama Lisa? Mom, can you see Mama Lisa? My always in my view. I try to do an intro. Mama Lisa always in my view. Did you get the pacchetti? I got the pacchetti. Go get to the kitchen, Mama Lisa. We got to make this. We have no more time. Tony from Kettle Kitchen is waiting our, our Italiano dish. We gotta make an Italiano dish for you. I think that you're gonna like. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. It's a very, very, very good dish. Italiano, Mama Lisa, get to the kitchen. But did you get the pasta? I got the pasta. It's when in the kitchen. The it's in the kitchen, Mama Lisa. Mama Lisa, get to the kitchen right now. Tony Kettle over at Kettle Kitchen is making a collaboration and we're gonna join the collaboration. It's all these people come together making Italiano dish. That's right, it's called Noodle November. Noodle November? Who does that? Tony Kettle do. Tony Kettle do. Mama Lisa, Mama Lisa, what do you got going on here? What do you got going on? We're going to make a Pacari pasta bake. Okay, Pacari pasta bake, okay. Pacari pasta bake. So what's all it take? It takes more so than... Start out with the, the oil. Okay. Four tablespoons of oil. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay. Then we've got three cloves of finely chopped garlic. All right. And cinnamon stick and two bay leaves. Okay. Sugar. Uh, is that parsley? This is thyme. Okay. This is parsley. Chopped onions. Okay. Salt, pepper to taste. Okay. Did I say sugar? There's sugar no. here. Sugar. Then I have uh, chicken stock. Okay. And that's homemade chicken stock, right? Homemade chicken stock. That's okay. right. And uh, chopped canned tomatoes. Okay. That's for the other. Okay. That's for the sauce that we'll, we'll do that. In All right. Bit. So, and it's going to all get cooked right here. Mm -hmm. Get cooked okay. here. Then I will boil the pasta. There's your pasta. For three to four minutes. We have a low, medium, a medium right now. Okay. And we'll put four tablespoons of olive oil. Heat that up. And then I'm going to put, once it gets heated up, then I put the onions in. And I have two medium onions, finely chopped. Okay, so now you got the heat warming up. Or the heat, the oil, <laughs> the oil, the oil warming, up. warming up. I'm gonna put the, okay. uh, the onions in. Okay. Well, I can hear it starting to sizzle. Cook the onions for a little bit. Get them heated through and everything. And then I'm going to, in just a minute, I'm going to add the tomato paste and the garlic. Okay, so this is onions and oil. Uh, and it's just all green onion? Just I mean, white onion? White onion. Well, a little bit of green in there, too. <clears throat> I had okay. it in the freezer. Mama Lisa, I love that apron you got there. Where'd you get that? Thank you. That was a gift from Gillum Farms. Oh, Christine wow. Christine and Johnny. They must love you. I think so. I never got an apron. It has my name on it. But then again, I'm not. Then again, I'm not Mama Lisa. Mama Lisa. You don't cook. That's right. I don't cook. I, what I do on the grill, but not inside. Anyway. anyway so some, you're you're sautéing those yeah. onions until they get like what? Translucent. Uh, translucent. I guess. Or, yeah. All right. I've had these going for a couple minutes. It sure smells good in here. I'm gonna put the tomato paste. That looks like two tablespoons. Yeah, two tablespoons. And this one is not homemade today. This is this is canned tomato paste. Okay. And then uh, three three cloves. Three cloves, finely minced. Okay. Three Chopped. cloves of garlic. Three cloves of garlic. this all mixed in together. 
once the flavors are married. Of course, that's what the lady said <laughs> on the recipe. So. Looking good, smelling good so far. Okay, once I get these all together. Is it ready yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. Not for a little while. My stomach can't wait. Mm, 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 mm. It's a growling. This is gonna be good. Good, good, good. It smells amazing in here, folks. And she hadn't even put half the ingredients in already. Not even half. Okay. okay. I'm gonna put the uh, hamburger meat in. So I have 35, basically 36 ounces. 32, just a little bit over two pounds of hamburger meat. Wow. Is that going to take a while to cook? Yes. Right. It will take a little while. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll cook it all up and then we'll bring yes. it back when it's done. Now. Okay, so now I'm going to add the bay leaf, the cinnamon stick, the two bay leaves, the salt and pepper. So this is salt and pepper mix. This is pepper. Salt and less pepper. Pink, and I use pink Himalayan salt. I like I like that. Salt and the pepper and the sugar. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar. Okay, Folks, if you could just smell what this casino taste smells like, oh my goodness. Just the flavors that she's put together here. It, it just can't it, I just can't compare it to anything. It just smells like I'm in an Italian kitchen right now. Oh. Mama Lisa, Mama Lisa. Is it ready yet, Mama Lisa? Nope, not yet. Okay, so now I'm going to add the chicken stock, which is four ounces. Chicken stock. It's how many ounces? Four. Oh, four ounces. <clears throat> that looks like about 10 ounces. No, it was only four. And then the canned chopped tomatoes. Ten canned chopped tomatoes. And then I'm going to mix this up really well and then cover and cook for 10 minutes. Let all the flavors marinate infuse, there. marinate mm -hmm. with each other. Man. Is it ready yet, Mama? Mama Lisa? Not yet. Go outside and play. <laughs> no risk. Okay. okay, so I'm going to cover it and we're, we'll be back after a few minutes. It's been about 10 minutes. Okay. Then I got to take the bay leaves out. He's hiding, he's hiding. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm gonna add, well, let me stir it first. Mm -mm -mm. If you could, if we only had smell-o-vision. Oh, I know. Oh my goodness. 
Actually, it's just the first part of the. Yeah, this is just the first part. Okay, I'm going to add the parsley and the thyme. I don't have fresh thyme, but this is thyme in a bottle. Thyme in a bottle. And I've got my water heating up to boil. I'm going to stir this up, get it all mixed in, and we're going to let it. Simmer on the stove for a few minutes. Get those spices all mixed in together. And I'm actually going to put it on low. I'm going to put it on low so it won't get too overdone. Low and slow. <clears throat> it's getting hot, but we're just waiting for it to heat up. Boil. Boil. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, let's bring those those noodles over here so we can show them. Oh. Alright, so this is the noodles. Pakeri. It, it's called pakeri. It's a very sh short, if you will. Almost like almost like uh uh what's the one? Manicotti. We, manicotti, yeah. Almost like manicotti, but it's like shorticotti. <laughs> it's like it's like little manicotti. You got manicotti and then you got this is your the younger one I guess. But that's where we're gonna put all of this into all of here and then we're gonna cover it with a couple other ingredients, cheeses, and then we're gonna bake it. Huh? Look at that. And then when we're done we take the spring the spring form off and you have your your Italiano dish, Mama Lisa. Can't wait. All right, Lisa, so what are we doing now? Okay, I'm going to put the noodles in to boil. You got the water boiling. Yeah, water boiling. Just... Put the timer on. Three to four minutes. So. Um, yeah. We'll do three minutes. I don't think it would do three and a half. Of course, they're not boiling right now, <laughs> but the water was boiling. Okay, and the reason we're only doing it for three minutes? Well, because it says in the recipe. <laughs> okay, so what if you um, boil it for 10 minutes? Typically, to get them soft, to use them normally, like spaghetti or something, you do them for 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. But we want them to be able to stand up, so we're only going to do them three to four minutes. Okay. But they're not boiling. Yeah, because they're going to finish yeah. cooking in the oven. Yes, they are going to finish cooking in the oven. Okay. Okay, so time's up now. What are you going to do? I'm going to... Drain this. Okay. I always pour away from you so you don't get a steam burn bath. Okay. And you gotta rinse those off? I am. I'm going to rinse the starch. Okay. much starch as I can get off. I mean, they're not fully cooked, so. Okay. And then, okay, I'm gonna layer these, stand them up. This is where the fun begins, right? <laughs> Mama Lisa, Mama Lisa, I'm hungry. When is the food gonna be ready, Mama Lisa? About an hour. Oh my goodness. Maybe longer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go I guess I'll go eat on a cannoli.
Okay, Lisa, so now that you got the meat cooked, yeah, and you got I'm the noodles to... already, the noodles have been cooked for three or four minutes, four minutes actually. Mm -hmm. Now what are you gonna do? I'm going to fill the noodles. Actually, I'm gonna take the cinnamon stick out first. Okay. I see that's still there. Take the cinnamon stick out, okay. All right. Oh my so goodness, cinnamon. it smells delicious. Delicioso, Mama Lisa's delicioso. I love you, I love you, I love you. That's a Maori right there. All right. I'm going to hand over here. And start to spread. Yeah, start to spread it out. Start to fill it up. And yeah. you know, they're small enough, you think. Yeah, they won't fill scrape, in, but yeah, they as do. You scratch them, as you scratch across, it, it, it'll fill in, right? Yeah. Okay. It's filling in. Yeah, it's filling in. Better than what I would have thought when we first made it. Bird's eye view, folks. Bird's eye view. Yum, yum, yum. Man, it smells so amazing, folks. I can't wait to try this. And I would take some, a bite of that meat, but I don't want to. I want to. I want the surprise to be when I take a bite of this. Uh, Pizza pie. Paqueri. Well, I guess with with all the sauces, with the sauce, the noodles and will the continue cheese. to cook. Yeah. Well, I think with that hot meat in there too, that hot meat's going to help it cook too, right? Mm Looks a lot like the picadillo that my mom used to make. Okay, so I'm melting my butter. It's three and a half ounces. Three and a half ounces of flour. And I'm going to cook it just enough to where it's slightly caramelized. Okay. Where it's slightly caramelized. And then I will add... bubbling a little and I believe that it's caramelized, caramelized to, me. to me so I will add the milk okay that's one liter or yeah 33 ounces one liter of milk one liter 33 ounces of milk in with your butter and, and your flour, flour. So then I will stir this. Well, I will cook it. At the end, your end result, it will be thick. Okay, the flour and the milk is pretty well combined. 
I'm gonna add in the nutmeg. It's just salt and pepper to taste. So I've got about a teaspoon, teaspoon of both pepper and then the salt. And I'm going to add in the cheddar cheese, it's about three and a half ounces of cheddar cheese. You'll cook it until it's melted and then it starts to thicken, which will be, a, it'll take a few minutes to do that. Cheese just dropped to the bottom, didn't it? Mm -hmm. it goes to show that cheese is heavier than milk. Make sure you continue. Make sure you continuously stir this because it will thicken up. As you can see, it's gotten pretty thick in the last couple of minutes and um, you do not want it to burn do not want it to burn on the bottom so like, i'm going to like gravy i guess huh? yeah this looks like gravy like white gravy yeah. i don't know what it tastes like but it looks yeah, like yeah. white gravy so i'm going to take the ladle and i'm going to start filling filling this up you know, with the nutmeg and the salt and pepper, it looks like white gravy. <laughs> paqueri, paqueri. Mama Lisa, Mama Lisa, is it ready yet? Not yet. Mama Lisa. She's already got the fire off, so it's not cooking in. Yeah, it's not, it's and that's, in that spot was there before. So. Yeah. so we have the oven on. It's not quite up to temperature yet, but so three and a half ounces of mozzarella. Spread it on the top. Mama Lisa, Mama Lisa. That's the oven telling you it's ready. Cover the top, regardless of what it is. Yeah, just yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. Just cover the top. You can't have little little cheese is good. A lot of cheese is better. Well, <laughs> well, I don't know. For me. Some people. I see that juice stuff is leaking out already. Yeah. Okay. We are going to put it in a 350 degree oven for approximately 30 minutes or until the top is crusty golden brown. Please and thank you. Ooh. Ooh. 30 minutes and we will check it. Pancho, Mama Lisa making us a nice Italiano dish. Are you ready to eat? Oh, si, sí, senor. As Mexicans like Italiano food very much, very much. Mm -hmm. My tummy can't wait. Mm. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. 
All right, Lisa, okay. the timer just went off. Yep. We is are is going it time? To oh, look at there. Look at there. your leg. <clears throat> Looks like a cake. I know it. A souffle. Just put it right on top of this. Yeah, we'll let it sit there for about five, ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, this is. Let it rest. Look for at five that. Minutes. Look at that. Look at Before that. Before you cut into it or take it apart. Ooh, wee, folks. Oh, my goodness. See, that's why you put it. See the bottom? Yeah. That's why you put it in a. Oh, yeah, you can see where it leaked out on the outside. Yeah. I guess we gotta let it set for 10 or 15 minutes, right? So it said, cool. yeah, let it set for five minutes before you take the, the outer band thing. off. Yeah, but if it's not so, uh, solidified, won't it just ooze over the edges? We're gonna find We're out, gonna folks. We're gonna find out. All right, folks, well, that is resting. I'm getting ready to uh, be removed. We're gonna go ahead and Slice up this loaf of bread. Nice and it's still, it's still warm, it's still mm -hmm. warm. Alright, so mm -hmm. Alright Lisa, it's been out of the oven for ten minutes there. Had to cook it longer. Um, it says for 30 minutes in the recipe, but the top wasn't hardly brown at all. So I went almost 50 minutes and then we went ahead and pulled it out. So I'm going to take this. So it's been sitting for like 10 minutes. So it's probably yeah. still warm, be careful. Okay. Gotta move it. There you go. Now you can slide it that way. There you go. There we go. There you go. Slide it in all the way. There you go. Now once you slice all the way around it, make sure it breaks off the walls. Regardless how this thing comes out, folks, we're going to eat it. <laughs> yeah, we are going to eat it. I think it'll be good, though. I'm, I'm hoping. Cross my fingers. So we shall whether, see. Whether it keeps its shape or whether it falls apart, we're still going to eat it. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Look at that, folks. Look at that. There it is. It stayed up. <laughs> yep. So now it's just a matter of slicing it and putting it on a plate. Hold on a second. Let me move this out the way. All right. I'll make a slice here just to see what it's gonna taste like. Oh, I can't wait! Mm, 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 mm. It's an Italian version of a shepherd's pie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it could be in a way. No potatoes in there. No potatoes, but still. I know, but slow, slow. <laughs> slow. It's gonna fall. <laughs> wow, it didn't stay together. The outside, the top, kind yeah. of did, but. Whoa. Look at them noodles. Look at that food. Is it meat? meat? Oh my goodness. Okay. So there you have it, folks. Look. 
Yeah, it's... it's just falling apart. It's still too hot. That's why I knew it needs to set. It needs to set about ten more minutes. Probably, probably at least thirty minutes. But we're hungry. Mama Lisa, Mama Lisa, out there herself again. Look at this wonderful, wonderful Italiano dish. And it's called Pacchetti. 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 Or, or Pacchetti, if you want to just call it in English. Pacchetti. And uh, we're fixing to try it right now with the cheese and the noodles and the, and the bread. That's Italiano. Needs a little salt, I think. Uh, I don't know. To me, it tastes, it tastes all right. But the cheese sauce is good. The top. Well, you can definitely test the butter. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sourdough bread, perfect. The noodles, perfect. The noodles are done. Mm -hmm. The noodles are cooked through. Mama Lisa, Mama Lisa, you did such a fabulous job on this dish, this Italiano dish called Pacchetti, Pacchetti. It was delicioso. Oh my goodness, you guys have to try it. All jokes aside, <laughs> it was awesome. We loved it. And listen, I got to tell you guys, this collaboration is hosted by none other than the, the collaboration king mm -hmm. himself, which is Tony Shepard over at Kettle, Kettle Kitchen. Kitchen. And we can't thank Tony enough for allowing us to be a part of this collaboration as he did last year. And I appreciate, we appreciate that. Uh, it's always a fun uh, collaboration to do. We love the, the, the recipes. We also have to thank, um, her name is Zubda Malik. That's her, her channel name is Kitchen Diaries. My Zubda. My Zubda Malik. But we, we found this recipe on her page. Awesome recipe. So you guys want to try it out. We have all the, the, the details down below. The, the recipe will be on a recipe card that you can print real easy. Uh, but we want you to make sure that you uh, show her the love that she deserves because this is her recipe, not ours. Right. The other thing is, at the end of this collaboration, which is going to be early in December, uh, there's going to be a giveaway. Right. Uh, sponsored. Noodle November giveaway. It's called Noodle November uh, <laughs> giveaway, but it'll be sponsored by Tony Kettle. And there's going to be a lots of giveaways, trust me. He always has a bunch in. We're, we're participating mm -hmm. in that giveaway, so make sure you guys uh, look, that, look look for that because uh, it's going to be an awesome giveaway. We really appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out our recipe. So we'll see y'all on the next one. Right. Arrivederci. Ciao. Adios. Avita <laughs> Zane. Whatever. Bye. We'll see y'all. Bye. I love you. How's everybody doing? No. And we'd also like to throw out that this recipe is not our recipe. It's not nobody handed down from our family. We got this from, do you remember her name? We'll have to get her Somebody name. Somebody on.